If you don't know, lately I have been in love with smelling like coconut, y'all. So I have dedicated an entire routine to smell like coconut. So if you want to know how I achieve a beautiful and mature coconut scent from head to toe, keep watching because this is my new coconut scented hygiene routine. As you may know, I recently went hygiene shopping and I went ahead and picked up these coconut shower steamers and today was my first time trying them out and no, they did not work out. It was a flop. It was a fail. I will never purchase shower steamers again <clears throat> because every single time I do so, they just never work out. So anyways, on from that, um, the first step in my routine is to of course get my hair smelling like coconut because remember, we want to smell like coconut from head to toe okay so the best shampoo and conditioner that will leave your hair smelling like beautiful coconuts is the Shea Moisture 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration shampoo and conditioner these leave my hair smelling so good and they also work very very well in my hair now listen I do have a few personal tips I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys on how I get my shampoo and conditioner like how I get the fragrance to stick to my hair all day and for days after so first things first you want to go ahead and double shampoo your hair shampoo your hair twice not once twice also be pretty generous with your product like you don't want to use the tiniest amount of shampoo and the tiniest amount of conditioner you want to use a good amount that has also helped me also really working that product into my scalp and my hair like as you guys can see right now I'm shampooing my hair of course I did edit out a lot of my like shampooing process but you guys can see here I am really focusing on my scalp I am using the pads of my fingers not my nails um, and I am working that shampoo in and for a generous amount of time I don't try to rush through I really get in there and scrub up that also helps me to get my hair to smell amazing now the last tip I have is when you are using the conditioner let it sit in your hair like you guys will see later on I'm using a butterfly clip to go ahead and clip up my hair and I leave it in there the entire shower and that makes my hair smell the best like that's like my number one tip because the fragrance of that conditioner is just sitting in your hair and your hair is going to smell just like it Now I am done with my hair and I am moving on to cleansing my body. So for my first cleanse, I am going to be using my Kopari Coconut Hydrating Body Wash. Oh my gosh, do I love this body wash. As you guys can see here, this is my first cleanse and look how soapy this dang body wash gets. Even on the first cleanse, I love this body wash. Now I will be honest, um, when I leave the shower, I don't really smell like this body wash it's really just like an in shower experience um, because the smell is so light but it washes my body very well it is very hydrating it smells amazing for when you're in the shower and I'm just obsessed you guys like I love this body wash Thank you. 
For my second cleanse, I have been using the Soap & Glory Magnifico Body Wash. This body wash smells so tropical, you guys. It's so pretty. On the bottle, it says that it is scented with coconut and sweet vanilla. And when I tell you guys, it is the perfect mixture because this smells top tier. And yes, don't worry. Once you leave the shower, you will smell like this body wash. I specifically use this body wash as my second cleanser because it's not a good first cleanser. Like, it just does not get very soft soapy um it just doesn't do well um as a first cleanser so i always use this as a second cleanse and that is when it works very 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 well as you guys can see it's lathering beautifully it smells amazing i love it but just not as a first cleanser My go-to coconut body scrub has been the Coco Colada one by Tree Hut. This one also smells very tropical, but my favorite thing about this body scrub is just how abrasive it is, like just how well it works. It's such a thick, abrasive scrub. So this is more for like your deep exfoliating days. I just love it, you guys, I love it. Today was a leg scrubbing day. It wasn't like the rest of my body scrubbing day, if that makes sense. I have just like certain days where I only scrub my legs and today was one of those days now if for some reason you're not really into body scrubs you don't really care for them definitely check out exfoliating gloves you just slip them bad boys on put some soap in them and then exfoliate that way fun fact i actually used to exfoliate after shaving because i thought it was giving me better results when in reality it's the other way around if you exfoliate before you shave you are prepping your legs for the shave it's going to give you a closer and smoother shave you are going to get the best results if you exfoliate prior to shaving so for shaving today i am going to be using my kopari hydrating vitamin c shower oil this one is scented with the scent coconut of course it is such a pretty coconut scent i love it you guys and i love how it works for shaving it works very well to mix in with your body washes as well as for shaving and then in duo with that i am using my intuition razor with the sleek handle yes ma'am love this duo y'all And my very last step while I am still in the shower, though it is not coconut scented, it is still very important. I cleanse my lady bits with the Baby Dove Baby Wash. Once I exit the shower, I always hop straight into moisturizing my body with the Soap & Glory Magnifico Body Lotion. This of course matches the body wash I used earlier. They both smell so amazing. But let me tell you about this lotion. This lotion, the scent of this lotion really sticks to your skin. Even if I didn't put on any perfume or used like any other coconut scented product, I would still smell like coconut. Because girl, this lotion is so strong, it's very moisturizing, 
moisturizing, it absorbs beautifully, it distributes beautifully, but most of all, it smells so good. So I always moisturize my entire body with this lotion. Now, I'm sure somebody is going to ask the question, girl, if I could just use that dang lotion, what's the point of doing everything else? So the reason why I do everything else from the shampoo, the body washes, the body scrub, just everything, it's called layering. Layering is for longevity and also for a more powerful, unique scent. As you guys know, I don't layer with the exact same scent. I layer with a bunch of different coconut scents. They all come together and they smell beautifully. Also, there will not come a time in the day where I will not smell wonderful. Like the scent's just not gonna fade away. It's still gonna be there and popping. For my very first fragrance, I'm going to be using the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance Body Spray. This is Sol de Janeiro's new body spray. Oh my gosh, do I love it? It's a very like beachy, creamy coconut kind of smell and I am obsessed with it. This is actually a body spray that lasts all day. Definitely my favorite coconut scented body spray by far. My go-to coconut scented perfume is Beach Walk by Replica. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot get over this smell. It is so addicting and it mixes so well with the Rio Radiance body spray I just showed you guys. This is my favorite coconut perfume. I've already been through a bottle. This is a new one, but if I'm gonna be completely honest, it is very pricey. It is a very expensive perfume, but that's okay because I recently discovered this. This is Aquatic Coconut by Dossier, and it is the exact same fragrance as Beach Walk. In my personal opinion, this one lasts a lot longer, but hey, apart from that, I just spray this perfume to all my pulse points, and I also have been spraying my fragrance on my skin again. Also, the only deodorant I have found that actually works as well as complements my coconut hygiene routine is the Lumi Soft Powder Deodorant. I'm not really sure why my armpits look so dark right here, but you know what? I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna keep going. I really focus on spraying my fragrance to my clothing because your clothing is what really holds on to smell. For an example, if you go into a restaurant and you walk out, your clothing smells like it, not your skin. So the fibers in your clothing really hold on to the fragrance. So make sure you are really spraying your clothing more than your skin because that's what's gonna get you smelling good all day. For my hair, I have been using the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydrating Treatment. This stuff is like hair perfume, the way it makes my hair smell. I'm not the best at like describing scents and fragrances and stuff like that, but just take my word for it, this stuff smells like a coconut hair perfume. Like especially with how it makes your hair smell, I just strictly use it for the smell. I know it's great, it's moisturizing, it's good for the hair, yeah. But I buy this stuff for the smell, how it makes my hair smell. And then I'm also using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. I like this stuff. It is a good product, but it's not giving all the way coconut. So I just use it because, you know, it does have like a little bit of a coconut smell, but I'm mainly using that coconut spray for the actual coconut scent in my hair. Now to top off the daily hydrating treatment coconut smell in my hair, I also use the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance Body Spray because as you guys can see on their website, these are hair and body mist and girl that is my last step to my coconut scented hygiene routine i hope you guys enjoyed have yourself a great day i love you all and god bless you all in jesus name